Today we look at four different standing seam panel profiles and look at a real world example of each. Snap lock, mechanical lock, fastener flange, and wall and soffit panels. What's up guys, I'm Thad Barnett from Sheffield Metals and welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. In previous videos on this channel, we've talked about standing seam metal roofing a lot. What it is, different types of panels, but we've gotten some comments that have requested some specific examples of panel profiles. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. We've got four categories of panel profiles to review and define. First category is snap lock panels. Snap lock profiles have a male and female leg that snap together and does not require hand or mechanical seaming during installation. Snap lock profiles are attached to the roof deck using a clip that attaches to the seam and is fastened underneath the panel. So here I've got the SMI inch and three quarter snap lock panel. You can see the male and female legs. Now this is attached to the roof deck using a snap lock clip like this. It goes on the male leg here, is fastened to the roof deck, and then when you're ready for your next panel, the female leg engages over the male leg and snaps in place like this. These panels are not for use on roofs with a pitch of less than a 212, so be careful there. The SMI inch and three quarter snap lock panel is popular because it's engineered in multiple different types of decks and assemblies. In fact, this style and size of panel profile is one of the most specified types in the industry. Another benefit of snap locks that we mentioned earlier is that there's no seaming required, meaning it goes down way faster than this next panel profile we'll be talking about, mechanical lock. Here I've got an inch and a half mechanical seam panel. And just like snap lock panels, mechanical lock or mechanically seam panels also have a male and female leg. But instead of snapping together, you have to use a hand or mechanical seamer, which bends the edges and locks the panels together. Now there's still a clip that holds down the male leg of the panel, and when possible, you should use an expansion clip. On snap lock profiles, the panel itself can move with expansion and contraction, but when you seam a panel in mechanical lock applications, the clip needs to be able to take that thermal movement during expansion and contraction. There are two different types of mechanical seams, single lock 90 degree seams and double lock 180 degree seams. Single lock refers to one fold of the seam, or 90 degrees. While single lock profiles won't perform as well as double lock profiles, they will still perform well in milder environments. Make sure you check your engineering to make sure a single lock can be used. Double lock mechanical systems feature two folds of the seam, or 180 degrees. Double lock systems are suitable for low slope applications when you need that extra weather tightness, because double lock systems perform better. Plus, there's less chance for the panels to come unseamed. Next is nail flange. I have a one inch high nail flange profile here. Mine's a little scratched up, but you kind of get the idea. Nail flange, also referred to as fastener flange, is similar to a snap lock panel system, but instead of using a clip to attach the panel to the roof deck, it's directly fastened to the deck through the male leg of the panel. Once the fasteners are in place, the female leg of the next panel snaps over the entirety of the male leg to conceal the fasteners. Nail flange systems are often a popular choice for residential applications because it's usually the cheapest option for standing seam because of the less installation accessories needed. Nail flange systems count solely on the head of the fastener to keep the panel attached to the roof deck and that could lead to problems in the future. Fastener flange or nail flange systems are often not the best performing systems and they often lack engineering. Plus, they follow the imperfections of the roof deck, are pinned, which limits expansion and contraction, cannot go on low slope applications, and they're limited in length to 25 feet. Lastly, we're gonna talk about something we haven't touched on much here on the channel, standing seam wall and soffit panels. Here is the one inch flush wall and soffit panel. Unlike snap lock and mechanical lock profiles, you do not need clips to install this as a wall or soffit. And if you decide to use it as a soffit panel, it can be formed with or without perforations. Also, this profile has been engineered and tested to withstand extreme weather conditions, so we offer weather type warranties on this profile. The engineering details for this installation are pretty labor intensive, as you have to screw down every panel together at the seams. Also, if you want engineering, the system has to be installed vertically, meaning the seams are perpendicular to the ground. If it's installed horizontally, you're not gonna get engineering or warranty for that system. 
The SMI 1 inch flush wall panel can also be installed with a panel reveal up to 3 inches at half inch increments. But again, that reveal is not engineered and you're not going to get a warranty with it. Know that not all profiles are created equal. There are many different profiles that fall into each of these categories and it's important to keep a couple things in mind. Having a profile tested is such an important step in knowing a system's limits. If you're having a metal roof put on your building, don't settle for only knowing what type of panel is being installed, but make sure there's appropriate engineering so that you can protect your investment. Thanks for checking out today's video. Comment below with any questions. I'm having a blast interacting with everyone. Subscribe to the Metal Roofing Channel, and I'll catch you next time.